everyone, this is Rachel or Clad Deal Tan, and I have another box to open with you guys. We're going to do something a little different today and open the box from the bottom because I tried and tried and tried to get the shipping label off and it was not having any of that. So we're going to just open this from the bottom and hope it, things don't fall out weird. There's a little bit of a story behind this unboxing. So if you watched my introduction video, you might remember that my family used to be Amish. And one thing a lot of Amish people like to do, especially the um, older generation of ladies who, you know, the only way to get out of the house is by riding your bike, walking, or going by horse, or you can hire a driver to drive you someplace. And so the older generation tends to stay at home a lot more than the older generation who isn't Amish does. And you can't shop online because you don't have internet and you don't have computers and you don't have power to power the internet or computers. So mail order catalogs are very popular. And a few years ago, there was a little insert that used to come with, I think, Country Magazine, a couple things like that, from Ashton Drake doll makers. And there were these little baby dolls, and there was one in particular. Now, these are not dolls for children. These are dolls for collectors. And there was one in particular that caught my eye, and I've wanted ever since. And the other day, I was thinking, wait a minute. I'm an adult. I have a bank account. I have an internet connection. I have an eBay account. Let's look for this doll. And it, <laughs> it took a while because I didn't remember the name of it, but I found one. And I won an auction for the one I wanted and a couple of ones I don't want from the same seller. And they were all shipped together. So I'll be able to sell, hopefully, the other two dolls to help pay for the one I'm keeping. So let's, let's have a look at them. This one is going to be Sour Grapes. I'm going to take the little boxes out and set them aside and then set the shipping boxes aside and then we can have a closer look. This one it doesn't say and this one it doesn't say. There's some bubble wrap, that's good because I can use it to sell items of my own and the paper is just a, um, like a receipt, it's a package though. So I'm going to set the box aside and bring the little dolls back. You can see they're in matching boxes. It says on the front, the Ashton Drake Gallery is bringing you dolls of irresistible value. Oh, I'm just noticing, um, I was bored in a meeting and I was drawing in ballpoint pen on my hand, but it, I know it looks really weird, but I'm fine. It's just ballpoint pen. So I'm wondering which one I should open first. So let's do the sour grapes one since we know which one that is. I've never seen any dolls from this line before, so I'm really interested to see like what size they are and everything. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. This is much smaller than I expected. So this is the doll. Kind of looks like it's yelling. Maybe the idea is it's tasting something sour. It's from the Sweet As You Please collection. There's a little outfit on. It looks like it has a cloth body with, it reminds me of the way an American girl is put together with little rubber arms and a little diaper. And there's the head. It, this one has closed eyes as you can see. And there's some hair on here, and it's actually pretty convincing. I like the way they did the hair. And the little neck cap is obviously adorable. So this one I plan to sell. I will try to put links down below in case you've been looking for any of these dolls. You can follow me over to my eBay page. I wonder, one of these last two dolls is the one that I bought it for, but I don't know which one it is. Okay, this is not the one I bought it for, so this one is the Happy as a Lark one. And this one comes with a blanket. You can see there's a little hairnet here. 
Let's check out the face. Oh, the little eyes are kind of cute. There's not as much detail as I'm used to seeing. Because I like, I like looking at pictures of reborn dolls sometimes and stuff. And there's not as much detail as I'm used to seeing, but what's there is very convincing. And again, there's some hair. It looks good. And there's a little knitted cap. I'm very impressed by the level of detail these are. They're not they're not quite the the two ones I've opened at least. They're not quite reborn level, but they look really good. And this one has a little snap. I'll need to look up for sure to see if this is even the outfit it came in cuz it looks very handmade to me, but maybe maybe that was just how the doll was designed. So I'll need to look this up and see if it's in its original outfit. There's a little blanket here. And this one will be going up for sale as well. Get it back in the box here. So this is the one. It's This one is called Cute as a Button. And this is the one that I'm, I wanted for me. Okay, so they did they did something really smart on this one. You you noticed the cloth bodies of the other two were like a nude color, like most, you know, baby dolls that have legs made of one, you know, some kind of plastic and a cloth body. But on this one, they did a body that is coordinating with outfits, so it still looks good without needing to make a separate bottom for it. Now this one, I'd like to take the little outfit off and get a closer look because we can, because it's for me. I'm going to set the boxes aside so it's not distracting. This is a lot smaller than I expected, which is great. I'm not sure why I thought it would be bigger than this because, I mean, the measurements were right there, but it fits in my hand. And it looks like it might be the right size for a baby for an MSD doll, a one-quarter scale BJD. Looks like they're not wanting you to untie this. But that's not going to stop us. I actually have my MSD here close by, so after we get a closer look at this doll, we can pose her with the quarter scale and see what they look like. I think the cute, cute as a button comes from this little decal here. I mean, detail. And then I'm really curious what the feet look like. I'm probably going to regret very much taking these socks off because they're going to be hard to get back on, but I really want to see what the feet look like. I can always use a crochet hook or something to help me get them back on. Okay. Look at that, look at that little foot. I really like the level of detail on this. I mean, I wasn't, I didn't really, cause I'm not as into baby dolls as I am into other kinds of dolls. I didn't want to invest in like a full blown reborn. And this seems like a nice in, in between compromise. If you're frustrated with the level of detail on play dolls, but you don't want to invest in a reborn doll. This is looking like a pretty pretty good in between. I like how the little face is all scrunched up. And the hair again looks great. I'll probably cut this tag off so it's easier to dress her. Or him. I haven't decided. The motion on the arms, I don't know if you're noticing as I'm talking, I'm rotating them around and the motion is pretty good. It does it doesn't feel like the most sturdy thing in the world, so, you know, I definitely wouldn't recommend being too overzealous with it, but you can, you know, set it up in different positions, which is great. So I'm going to grab my MSD doll, and we're going to see what this little baby looks like in comparison with her. Here she is. 
and here's the baby. I need to look up measurements of average size baby, average size woman, and do a ratio to see if it's, you know, perfect scale. But as far, especially if we're talking like a newborn baby, I think I think it looks pretty good. It would. I th I'm pretty sure it would definitely be too small for a one third scale, though. So yeah, I'm really I'm really happy I invested in getting this little thing for myself. It's it's really cute and I'm excited to get the other two off to good homes. And so I think right now this is other than some composition dolls that I have because they're antiques not because they're baby dolls. This is I think this is the only modern baby doll in my collection actually. So very, very special little baby. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in seeing more unboxings of, I'm mainly focusing on small dolls and a few like tutorial type things, that kind of stuff, check out my channel and see if there are any other videos you're interested in watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.